So, this is actually what was over here before I cleared it out. Okay. Actually, we're supposed to climb this on the pedestal over there where the depth um, regenerator is was actually a size as uh, was one of those snails. There was another one on this other bench over here that you actually can't get to. Oh god. Raz, we are not doing this today. So I have to get over here. There were like four normal sensors down here with two of the big guys. And then what you're supposed to do is this. Jump up here. This is actually... I make it look easy now because you don't have the enemies to deal with. Except for I still built platforming. And this is the part where it starts to get like... You have to be insanely good at platforming to beat this. So you walk this way. And over on the other side of this is over there on that little platform with the gray thing on it was another, it was one of those, sh uh, sh they're called shouting sensors, but I call them the executives. So you have to get past that one, and then on the other side of this, you have to jump this blade. Wow, this is the hard part. While well, there's a cannon over there shooting at you. Yeah. That's why I totally recommend doing this really before anything else. Clearing this area out, just because this makes it so easy. Oh, and the um, the vault actually was up there on the space where the... Um, where the... Where you need to put the knight. He was actually up here. So, now that we've got that out of the way, we're actually going to go do something else real quick. Oh, can I actually jump that? Oh. Oh! Shortcut. Hello? Sorry. I can't storm Napoleon's strong. So, so the night. So weak. Oh. Okay. Want me to call a doctor? Not that kind of week. Not sick. I just can't find any decent food around here. An army moves on its stomach. It does. An elite force such as I require an elite you must be related to the guy, the chef from Chrono Trigger. Oh, well, I'll keep on the lookout for some place with good taste. Actually, you might be the the best young man. I am a Frenchman. And anything but the finest French delicacy might So over there there actually was two giant sensors. And I killed those guys before. I actually don't remember if that was part of the lost recording or not. But I killed those guys before um, I did anything seriously important. So now we're actually going to go deal with this. My nemesis, this ladder. Come on. Oh, how come now I don't have any freaking problems? You stupid. So you need invisibility to get through this just because the guillotine is a little bit of a jerk if you're not. It won't let you pass. Are there still weird sensors? That might be just the bag crying. Here. Shut up. Oh, and we got the ferocious aura for the shield. Oh. <laughs> I am going to laugh so hard if we get the confusion upgrade before we get confusion. That'll just like make my day right there. Oh, oh well. Okay, so now we gotta go over to where the escargot was. I mean the snails, not the escargot. Granted, I think the next world is one of the harder worlds if you're not good at platforming and patience. Two things you really need. So, granted, I'm good at... I'm semi-good at platforming, but not patience. So this should get interesting real quick. Okay, so we're going to... 
ignore the snails for a moment and beat these trees up because I want the figments. Hey you, come here. Oh wow, so there's more people playing Left 4 Dead. Awesome. But we're actually gonna finish up this and, you know, save Fred's brain because that's more important. You hear me? That's more important than anything. You hear me, Fred? So stop beating up on yourself. Never be as emo as Fred, kid. Always believe in yourself and never give up the good fight. I sound so retarded. Hey! What the fuck? Come here. Come here. You stupid snails. Oh, I can't walk. You're kind of just stuck. The snails really don't go anywhere. They just kind of hobble away and you can't really collect them. And we'll spend looking around for the last snail later. I really kind of just want all the thick. You have to beat them out of the trees. It's annoying. Especially you have to beat the right trees, and you have to remember which trees you beat up. Come on, trees. Here's the snail. So I can do that later. And I can cut out of this what okay, I don't need. Snails, it's time to serve the cause. So be it. Here's my question. How did the snails go from being so tiny? To a bucket. If it is truly a time of war, then we are ready. We can no longer pull our heads into our shells and hide. We are, after all, armored warriors, and this is our land too. We may not be fast, but we always march upon the glittering path of righteousness, for we created ourselves from our hearts. Lead us onward, and let us eat holes in the wow. leaves of Napoleon's garden. Wow. On. Go snails! Granted, the snails have a pos more positive attitude than Fred. That's kind of sad. Granted, the snails kind of have a better attitude about it than frickin' most of the peasants, which I find amusing. Come on. I want the apples. And I think this is like the best part of this world is just all these figments in the trees. It's kind of a cute design, in my opinion. It's just like, there's so many little apples! It's like you're getting better on your fruit! It's teaching kids to eat fruit! It's teaching kids to eat delicious fruit of good and joy! Good and joy. Holy shit, what time is it? Uh, sorry, wait a minute. Oh, wow! Yeah, you just saw my Steam menu and me talking to MJ. But she's a DD, &D, so... Doesn't matter. Yes, we play DD, we're total nerds. But we don't go LARPing, so can't get us on that. That did like any of us actually care. <laughs> Granted, we probably would go LARPing. Not like serious LARPing, but come on. <coughs> I would still laugh if I totally get um yeah, I could totally make that from there. But if we go, if I get confusion before, all right, here you have to actually. Go. Oh, whoops! Not the right place. You actually have to put it um, here, and then it automatically you go down and go. Hey, look, food, bitch! Charge! <laughs> Delicious! I haven't had escargot like that since the Duchess's birthday. But even oh, wow. those were not so full. Spirit! I am truly inspired. Come! Let us storm Napoleon's stronghold. Well, sweet, and win let's go. This game for Fred Bonaparte. Well, finally, someone who wishes to go. I like the night. Do hurry. I believe I may be hungry again soon. 
<laughs> the knight is just like so fat. He's so fat. Also, I like if you have advanced um, love it. this, you could actually just throw him straight there. <laughs> Your walls are no thicker than the crust of a creme brulee. Oh, Behold creme brulee. the mighty tapping of my spoon. Nom nom nom. And then it changes. And you're like, yay, I won! What? What is this? Fred! Did you do this? Wow. Huh? We won, guys. What? I'm so excited. I, don't believe it. I thought Fred was more excited about winning. There is some Napoleonic <sighs> veins after all. Congratulations. I think this is probably gonna be well, the longest maybe. episode ever. Granted, like, I can resign myself ten minutes got my cut out on accident. The future is yours, Fred Bonaparte. You are indeed a true warrior. Go forth and fight all your battles with the same determination you showed here, and your life will be an endless parade of victories, like mine. So he's basically going to get bent over and yes. beat up. Well, except for that last one, the one in Waterloo. Oh. I was sick that day. Very bad stomach cramp. Let me tell you. That's why I've always got my hand tucked in here, you know? <laughs> You'll find out when you're older. It's uh, hereditary. That is... I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. <laughs> Door opens. It falls. Raz is like, sweet. Is he really gone? Hello? Hello? Anyone else in here? <laughs> we did it, Raz! I'm all me again. One oh, person, not French. Get me out of this dang jacket so I can go strangle me an orderly. Hey, you gonna strangle an orderly? Friend, that sure would save me a lot of work. Yep. Right after I take a nap. Yes. Uh, what? He wants nap? to take a nap. Uh, war is hell, Rasputin, and I am sleepy. Uh, I'll take care of Crispin for you, just as soon as I. I just find it amusing that his arms are so short. Oh man. His arms are so short, but now we have a jacket for the for the costume. His uh and he's asleep over there. Crispin is just like, you're not him, so bugger off. Alright, and actually here, wait, let me start this closer to where I wanna be. Right here. In the next episode, we'll go into that nicely lit blue room and talk to Edgar and actually get the side challenger that I spent eight minutes looking for. Alright, this is DM and Mickey signing out. Bye, guys!